Hi there, Jake from Drone Tech. Today we're going to talk about the new DJI 15mm f1.7 prime lens. Specifically, the best f-stop setting to use for sharpness. Now before we get into the test, let's talk about how the image from the lens is captured onto the sensor. The Micro Four Thirds sensor picks up much of the lens's projection. And this is the aspect ratio you most likely use when taking photographs with the X5. And you may have noticed that when you switch to video mode, the bottom and the top of the image is cut off. This is because the X5 is switching to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and crops the image. Because of this crop, the center, top, and bottom of your videos should be sharp and a very low distortion, but the outside edges of the lens can give us problems. In this video, We'll not be talking about the distortion of the lens, but we will try to reveal which f-stop will provide the sharpest video and photographs. Let's get started. This is an ISO 12233 chart used to test the distortion and sharpness of lenses. We photographed this chart 10 times per f-stop to ensure we captured the sharpest image. The DJI lens was mounted on a Panasonic GH4 camera for the test. The test images are available in a link in the video description below. Reviewing the images from the test, we immediately noticed the affected areas of the chart on the left and right. In these examples, we will focus on the left quarter and zoom in on these sections. Let's start by comparing this area of the chart. I'll let these play through. Now let's zoom in on the H. This wide range shows f1.7, f4, f8, and f16. f1.7 and f16 seem softer than the others. With close looking, it appears that f4 and f5.6 seem the sharpest. Now let's look at the bottom left corner of the chart. This shows the same range of f-stops previously identified as the sharpest. Now let's look at the lens wide open and closed. Both seem less sharp, but the F14 and F16 seem the worst. Looking at this slide, you can see a clear difference between F5.6 and F16. So in conclusion, the lens is pretty darn sharp from F2 to F11. Using the lens wide open at F1.7 showed a small amount of softening but only a small sacrifice for the amount of light that it allows to the sensor. F13, 14, and 16 showed signs of blurring around the edges of the lens. While they could be used at these aperture settings, we suggest adding a neutral density filter to decrease the light and allow the use of the sharp mid-range aperture settings. Now, if you found this video useful, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe.